Josh and Elizabeth Dowdy sure got a thrill over the weekend. They were on the water in Portland Harbor on Saturday when this happened. It's like the Discovery Channel out here. <laughs> Man. Oh, buddy, what are you doing? In his Facebook post, Josh Dowdy says the whale he saw and his, and his wife saw near Spring Point Ledge in South Portland was a humpback. And a woman commenting on the video said she saw a humpback in nearly the same spot about 40 years ago while fishing with her dad. We asked an expert at the University of New England to look at the video, and Dr. Catherine Ono agrees this is a humpback whale. So, there be whales. Three, two, one, go! About 100 miles away from where Josh and Elizabeth were enjoying their encounter with nature, other couples were doing something a bit more frantic. Saturday was the 23rd annual Life Carrying Championship at the Sunday River Resort. Teams ran a 278-yard course with a hurdle, a sand dune, and a water obstacle. In the end, Caleb and Justine Raisler of Wisconsin, the couple in the middle, came in first. They won her weight in beer and earned a spot in the World Championships in Finland next summer. How did you and Paula do this weekend, Keith? Yeah. So we were talking about this. <laughs> Paula's not very big, but neither am I. So you'll notice that Indeed. like yeah. the ratio of the couples in the top three was like half the size, yeah. essentially. Yeah. yeah, so yeah. Paula could maybe carry me. I don't know <laughs> how well uh, I would do it with her. Uh, guys, today was, yeah, it was Monday. Well, as the day was uh, winding down. You saw the sun. A few you breaks, did. Yeah. yeah, just a few, just a little teaser. Um, I saw the sunset and Bangor, the time tomorrow is... Oh, I didn't notice. Five fifty nine. No. <laughs> no. Oh well, we're gonna have a couple of nice days at least in the middle of all this. The showers have moved out, as Pat uh, mentioned. We're seeing some late day breaks of sun. In fact, look at the satellite over the last couple of frames, and most of the state cleared out right before sunset. Uh, I guess it's better than nothing. At least it gives you a sneak peek of what's coming tomorrow with the sun. High temperature today, 50 on the dot, 48 in Bangor, 45 in Waterville. I did some research. I was thinking, what was the last time we only got to 50 for a high in Portland? It was May 4th. So it's been a while since the spring that we've been this cool during the day. All right, overnight tonight's going to be chilly. We'll clear out. Temperatures will drop down into 30s. We'll see some 20s too. Bangor to Augusta, upper 20s there. I don't know about that 21 in Waterville, but it will be chilly for sure by early tomorrow morning. However, we're going to get the sun going, and that's going to make it feel a lot nicer. We'll get into the upper 50s, low 60s tomorrow afternoon. A much more pleasant day for the entire state. Tomorrow night is chilly again, but kind of more typically so into the 30s, a couple of low 40s. I think Wednesday is probably the, the most well-rounded day here with the upper 60s possible mixture of sun and clouds by the afternoon, but nice and dry. And then we'll get the first half of the day in on Thursday before front comes through late Thursday afternoon into Thursday night. This is one o'clock Thursday, still dry, but you can see the front just working into the western part of this picture. So the broad theme over the next few days is this big ridge of high pressure dominates. It stays here uh, tomorrow, Wednesday, first half of Thursday. Here comes the front Thursday afternoon, Thursday night. I think we do stay dry most of the day Thursday with just some late showers, but watch this front kind of tilt. We call this a negatively tilted uh, front. So fronts typically are kind of more like this oriented like this makes you think we better look under there for some some winds because these are these negative tilt fronts are stronger and the winds do look pretty gusty here at Thursday night up to 45 miles an hour out of the east southeast, which is not a great wind direction for us. If we stay there, we're fine. If the models start pumping out 50 55, you might have to look at some uh, power outage risk there Thursday night into Friday morning. Friday does not look good, by the way. It looks rainy as that front comes through. The weekend does look good, though. We clear out temperatures between 63 and 65 for most of us. I mentioned before that the pattern for mid next week does not look favorable, so enjoy the next couple of days uh, and the weekend as well. Looking good. Yeah, always cling to these nice days when you got them because you never know when they're coming back. Uh, yeah, just how it is in October. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Keith.